Good morning everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Leaf Classes, I am Anjali. Children, as discussed in the previous video, I told you we will be doing the programs on all the topics according to ICSC pattern and today is the first session for that in which we will be doing basics of a Java program according to ICSC pattern. Children, here I want to tell you that we will be strictly following the board pattern and there are different ways of doing the program but we will be doing according to ICSC pattern only as this channel is for computer application subject for ICSC. Right children? So today we will be doing basics of a Java program. Like few of you told that you find programming very difficult and you don't know anything in program, how to start, how to finish, what to write. So this video is only for the beginners. Right? So one by one we will take the step and we will be doing all the programs of your syllabus. So when we talk about a program, what is a program? A program is a set of logical correct statements written in a computer language. Right? And here we are doing the Java program. So you know the features of Java language, the properties of Java language. So when we talk about Java program, the program is written within the body of the class. Each program must have a class and the class body is enclosed within the pair of curly braces and within the class we give different functions. And at least one function is must. Children, you know that Java is case sensitive language and you have to take care of uppercase and lowercase characters. So where it is supposed to be in uppercase or lowercase, it has to be in that case, right? So you cannot write like class, you cannot write in uppercase letters. It has to be in small case only, lowercase only. Because the syntax of the programming language Java says like that. So we have to follow the syntax. Syntax means the way of writing any particular statement in the program. That is known as syntax. Right? And when we talk about program, program always works on the principle of input, process, output as your computer works. You give input to the computer, computer process that and you get the result. Similarly, when we are talking about program, in program we give the values in form of assignment or we input the values during the execution of the program and then we uh, do the calculation depending upon the objective of the question in the program. And finally, using the display statements, we display the result. So these three things you have to keep in mind. Always your program should have input, process and output. Input can be using assignment or entry during the execution. Process is the calculation or the manipulation which you do on the given data according to the question. And output is displaying of the result, right? So let us begin class it has to be in small letters and then you give the class name class name children please give the relevant class name suppose i have to find the area of a rectangle i can write the class name area but if i write the class name as perimeter and in that program i am writing i am calculating area although there will be no syntax error for that but logically it sounds odd right that I am calculating perimeter and here I have written area, right? So here it has to be the appropriate class name, the relevant class name. Or if you have any confusion that what to give in the class name, you can always put the question number and say question 5. For this you are writing the program like this. Or in place of this, suppose you are writing calculating the area you can write area like this always um, the class name is user defined you can give the class 
last name of your choice. Then you start with the braces. I told you that the body of the class is enclosed within the curly braces. Now for the beginners, I just want to tell you that you have to write the main function. Actually, when we start the execution, the program execution starts from main and it ends at closing of main. Right? So here you have to write public static void main. This main is the function name. Right? Children here in Java, all the function names you will find that opening and closing bracket are there. So with each function name, don't forget to put these brackets and there will be no semicolon over here. Public is the access specifier which tells the accessibility of this function. Static means that this function can be executed without creation of the object and void means this function will not return any value. Right? For the time being, you can just learn this that this is the uh, main function which we have to do in every program. Slowly, slowly when we will move further, you will come to know about each and everything. Right children? Now here, this function also has to be given within the pair of curly braces. Right? So let me start a program just to assign the values and to calculate and print. Like right? here I have taken the class name as area. Let us write the program for calculation of area of a rectangle. Right? So, let me take the length of the rectangle in L variable equals to say 7.5 and the breadth is 3.5. The area of a rectangle formula says length into breadth. So, we will be doing the calculation 7.5 multiplied by 3.5 will again give you double type value. Children, in the end screen of today, you will get the links where the data types are given for those videos and where the input is given. These two links you will get in the end screen. Please do check those. And for calculation of area, we will be writing length into breadth. Children, here I would like to suggest you that whenever you are writing any formula, like here I have written AR variable I have taken for writing for calculation of length and breadth. So don't write here directly 7.5 into 3.5. Always in the formula try to take the variable names rather than the constant values, right? Now this we have calculated and now what we have to do? We have to print. We have to display. Now here you have the display statement system dot out dot print and system dot out dot print ln. These two statements are used for displaying the output using Java program, right? For the details of these two statements, you can check the video's output statements in Java. Now, always whenever you are writing the print statement for the output, for displaying the output, I would again suggest you here to give the message what you are going to show to the user, right? So here we want to display the area. So I can write the message like this. The area of the rectangle is and plus AR. In AR variable we have calculated. Children here the message is not must but I recommend you to do to write it because if suppose it is displaying 33.9 or any output it is displaying how you will come to know what it is it is the marks the percentage the area the perimeter what it is so always whenever you display the output try to write the message along with that now after message message is always enclosed within double quotes and plus this plus sign works as a separator right when you want to give more than one value in one print statement then plus sign works as a separator 
So the output of this will be the area of the rectangle is and whatever calculated value is there in AR that value will be displayed. And after that we will close main and then we will close the body of the class. So if you see here this is basic assignment. Assignment it is right. We have assigned then here we have calculation is done and here the output is displayed. So this we can term as input, process and output. Right children? So here all the programs work on the principle of input, process and output. I hope it is clear and now one program we will do using input statement. Right children? Now children, uh, we will be doing the same program but instead of assigning the values, we want the values to be entered by the user when we will execute the program, right? Now, as per your syllabus, you have to use scanner class functions for entering the values. Now, if you want to include the functions of any class, right? So, that class we have to import in our program. So, we will be using import statement. The first statement of your program will be import statement import java.util.scanner. S of scanner is capital. Right? Now, here this is the class name. Scanner is the class name. It is in this package. It is in java.util package. Now, instead of this, you may write like this also, java.util.asterisk, right? So, this means that all the classes of util package are available to this program. And here, if we write dot .scanner, that means scanner class is available to this program. Now, why we include this class? So that we can use the functions which are available in this particular class. Then your class, class name will remain same. Then public static void main, this will remain same. After this, what we have to do? We have to create the object of scanner class. Because to access any function, we need to call the function using the object name. Right? So the first step which we will be doing is the creation of the object of class scanner and you know that the object creation statement is class name space object name this is user defined name you can write sc you can write n you can write ob any name of your choice equals to new and the class name system.in this is the statement for creating the object of class scanner. Now we want to input length and breadth of the rectangle from the user but during the execution, right? So here again I would suggest you to give the display message that what you want from the user to input. So here you will write enter length and breadth of the rectangle and then you can input the values in two variables double L and double B. These two variables we have used to input the values of length and breadth. Now if it is double type we have to use the scanner class functions to input the values of double data type. That function will be called using the object name. Here if I have taken sc, you have to take a sc. If n, then n, right? Dot next double. Next double is the function name which you will be using for entering the double type value. Here please make it sure that d of double is capital and there is no space anywhere in between, okay? Similarly, for breadth also, we have used b variable dot next double, right? So, this is how we will input and then the same process will be there. 
we have entered the value instead of assignment we have entered the values and these values will be entered when you will execute the program and now you can calculate the area and AR variable length into grid and then you have to display the output system dot out dot print ln the area of rectangle is plus a this already I have explained you in the previous program then you close main and then you close class if you want to display length and breadth also, you may give more print statement. System dot out dot print ln the length of the rectangle is plus l breadth is plus b like that you can do. So children, after doing the program, whether you are entering the values using scanner class or you are assigning the values in the program, after doing the entire program. If you will go to BlueJ window on the top, you will see the compile button, right? You will compile it and then if any error is there, that is any syntax error is there, at the bottom of the screen, you will get that error. Again, you go to that particular line, correct the error, compile it again. Once your program says no syntax error, you close the program and come to the main screen of Luji. Then there your class icon, say here area is there, it will have only one pair of tilted lines. Now when you will right click here, from here the second option which contains the main function, you click there and then your program will be executed. Children, if you don't have the computer system or UJ is not installed in that system. You can always go for online Java compilers. There are many online Java compilers. You open that link and then type the program and when you will compile and run the program, definitely you are going to get the output on the screen only, but that will be online always. I hope the programs which we did today are clear to each one of you. In case you have any doubt related to today's program, please comment in the comment section. Definitely I am going to answer your queries. And in case you want more programs based on input and assignment, let me know through comments. And if you have your question to be taken, please comment it. So like this, we will be taking one step at a time and we will be completing all the programming statements as per your syllabus. These videos are going to help class 9th as well as class 10th ICSC children. For today, this much only. Those who haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you. You can join us on our Telegram channel also. The link is there in the description box. Keep practicing, keep working hard, start the programming. God bless you children.